Today, I'm going to show you how to turn off your tire pressure monitoring system on most Ford, Ford cars. And Oh, it's Daryl. How are you doing today? But the first thing you're going to need is a laptop computer and a paid version of the Forescan program. They give you a two-month license for free the first time you sign up, and then after that it's $12 for a whole year, which really isn't bad considering all the things it can do. It'll save you thousands of dollars in diagnostic work on your car. You can turn certain switches and features off and on. And you can also program new keys for it. All right, well, the first thing we're going to need to connect this computer to the car through the OBD2 port, which is down right up under here, we need the wired adapter, one that does both MS and HS type of module reading. And this one was very inexpensive on eBay, but now that I've been using it, the computer keeps giving me intermittent warning messages saying that the adapter that I have is not fully compatible with the latest software. And they have another adapter that they recommend, and I'll put a link to that in the description for this video. But we're going to take the plug, and we're going to put it into the port down underneath. How it hooks up. Well, my desktop's coming up with a picture of Havana, Cuba, from when I went to visit there a couple years ago. It says Forescan right there. The connect icon, where my cursor is. The one right next to that is the disconnect. Just make sure that the ignition key is on. The switch is set for the HS position, and the car is not moving. There we go. It says we have one car already loaded in here and saved. Do you want to use this car? Yes, we might, because this is the car I use. So let's click on that. And it's coming up with all the information about the car. Please set the switch to MS and press OK. And click OK. And some more modules came up. P, Diagnostic Trouble Codes. This is the little waveform there is for live streaming data. The uh, clipboard is for vehicle tests. And the wrench is for service functions, no doubt. Yep, service functions like bleeding the brakes, resetting different um, modules, balancing the battery on my hybrid car, things like that. Things that are you'd usually go to a service garage or dealer to do and pay a couple hundred bucks. And you can do all those for free right here with this software. But then we want to go one more down to the little computer chip. And the computer chip is where we can modify and configure the internal programming in our car's main computer. So we're gonna click on that. And now it's pulling up the module configurations. Generic oh, electronic module, I think it's called. Let's click on that. Bottom left corner and hit the play button. This tells you all the things you can change in the GEM module which is also the Smart Junction Box module. Ah, Tire Pressure Monitor, the very bottom one. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna double click on it. Right now it says Enabled. We're going to click it to Disabled. Then we're gonna click on the checkbox. Then we're gonna click on Write. We click on this, this tells us what we're gonna change. We're changing the Tire Pressure Monitor from Enabled to disabled and that's all it's doing here we're not gonna do anything else click that and instantly the tire pressure monitor fault and the warning light disappeared isn't that amazing so there you go if i can do it you can do it too a little bit of a learning curve a laptop a cable and the Forescan software and before you know it you'll be changing all kinds of things diagnosing your own problems and saving a ton of money on getting your car fixed Thanks for watching. Have a great day and bye for now.